from ABC7. Mark Brown, Michelle Tuzzi, and Dallas Rains Weather. Now, Southern California's only high-definition news. Eyewitness News at 4. Well, if you've ever seen the classic arsenic and old lace, it would be hard to believe arsenic could ever be good for you. But local researchers say this poison might actually extend the lives of certain cancer patients. Deep breath in, out. When 75-year-old John King met Dr. James Berenson, he thought the end was near. Chemotherapy to treat multiple myeloma was making him sick, and doctors said he only had two years left to live. I should have been long gone. Multiple myeloma is a bone marrow-based cancer that strikes about 16,000 Americans per year. It destroys bone and can lead to fractures. It also causes kidney disease. The treatment up until recently has been largely chemotherapy and steroids, followed by transplantation of the patient's own blood cells. Even with the new drugs, Dr. Berenson says none of these treatments work well alone. But he discovered that the well-known poison, arsenic, helps other therapies become more effective. The arsenic actually knocks out the cancer cells by actually taking away proteins that drive the cancer and make the cancer resistant to other therapies. Arsenic can cause fluid retention, weight gain, and a potentially fatal heart rhythm. But researchers say with proper monitoring, side effects can be controlled. We know how to deal with side effects. The arsenic regimen is given intravenously. And interestingly, investigational studies show it can be even more effective if followed with a dose of vitamin C. Good old vitamin C makes arsenic work much better. Arsenic and vitamin C for the treatment of multiple myeloma is not FDA approved. Researchers at the Institute for Myeloma and Bone Cancer Research found it worked on the cellular level and then on animals. John was willing to be part of a human clinical trial. Now, six years after his diagnosis, his disease is stable. In fact, people are telling me I look better now than before I got the disease. Uh, I, thanks to Dr. Berenson, I'm still on the right side of the grass. And there is no cure for multiple myeloma. Right now, arsenic is only approved to treat a rare form of leukemia. But if Dr. Berenson's trials continue to look promising, he says the therapy could be useful to treat other forms of cancer. To find out more about this treatment and multiple myeloma, log on to our website at abc7.com. Finally in health, is Elder Berry...